Even in grief, all family feuds are put on hold as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry join fellow members of the British royal family at Buckingham Palace in receiving Queen Elizabeth II's coffin. Her Majesty's coffin has traveled from her country residence in Balmoral to St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, she was then flown to RAF Northolt and driven to Buckingham Palace for one night in the ballroom. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were seen wearing all black as they traveled through the gates of Buckingham Palace, surrounded by a large crowd of mourning royal fans who gathered to pay their respects to the late Queen despite the terrible weather. In separate cars were King Charles, Queen Consort Camilla, Prince William, Kate Middleton, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and various other members were in attendance. Catherine, the Princess of Wales was also seen wearing mourning clothing. However, her subtle pearl necklace and pearl earrings, which were known to be a favorite accessory of the Queen's, has been a royal symbol of tears and mourning since the Victorian era. Prince Harry recently gave a touching tribute to his grandmother in his first public statement since Her Majesty's passing. In celebrating the life of my grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, and in mourning her loss, we are all reminded of the guiding compass she was to so many in her commitment to service and duty," he wrote. She was globally admired and respected. Her unwavering grace and dignity remained true throughout her life and now her everlasting legacy. Meghan Markle is yet to make a comment on the Queen's passing other than a moment of silence done during her Spotify podcast, Archetypes. It is not the first time Prince Harry and Meghan have been seen with their royal family after joining the Prince and Princess of Wales for a walk around at Windsor Castle to pay respects to the Queen. Queen Elizabeth will soon be transported to the Palace of Westminster and will remain there until 19 September, where her state funeral will be held at Westminster Abbey. However, she will be buried at St George's Chapel in Windsor and husband Prince Philip will soon be laid to rest beside her.